In this video, I'm going to show you how to limit your results to specific types of articles. And before I do that, I want to make sure that you understand the major types of articles that you're going to encounter as you do your research in biology. So you can think that there are three main categories of articles that you'll encounter. There are scholarly journal articles, um, which are written for researchers by researchers, right? There are popular magazines like the Time magazine you're seeing here, which are created for the general public. And there, there are things like trade publications. And trade publications are written for people who practice or work in a specific trade or profession. So if a, you think of it this way, if a popular magazine is written for the regular human person, the trade publication is written for somebody with a little bit of specialized knowledge, but not someone who is a scientist or researcher. And if you look at the different types of articles a little more closely, you can see that within these scholarly or peer-reviewed articles, there are two other types of articles. And often when you're a biology major, what you're looking for are, is something called a primary research article. And that's an article that describes the research that was done by the writers of the article. Um, so like a lab report, but on steroids, you could say. But there are lots of other kinds of articles that you'll find that are also scholarly. And one of the main types is called a literature review. And what that is, is it's an article that kind of summarizes all of the research that's been done on a particular topic. And they can be useful because you can use it to identify more of these primary research articles. But I want to make sure that you can identify a primary research article when you see one because you'll need one for your class. So to get a little more information on this, let's go into Academic Search Complete again. Because this is a great database because it includes popular as well as scholarly literature. So it's great for majors and non-majors and really for anyone who's just learning about a topic for the first time. I'm going to do a simple search for evolution in agriculture. And you can see I get a lot of results. The first thing I want to do is limit to full text. Um, often when you're doing research in the sciences, you want to limit your results to timely or current information, and you can use the slider bar to change the dates of publication. So maybe you only want something that's been published in the last 10 years or 5 years, your professor will let you know what he or she requires. But when I scroll down, I can then see the source types. So let's take a look at the different types we were talking about. Some examples of popular literature are magazines and newspapers. So let's see what a magazine article looks like on this topic. Right, so you can see I've got a few magazines. One's China Today, the Drake Journal of Agricultural Law, Vital Speeches of the Day, uh, Monthly Review and Independent Socialist Magazine. Um, so I can kind of go through here. Scientific America is really well known. So. If I'm looking at this article, Editing the Mushroom, it's in Scientific America. It's giving me a summary right here that it's talking about CRISPR, which is very interesting to me. I can click on the link to the full text, and you can kind of get an idea of what kind of information you'll get in a magazine article. So these are still high quality magazines. You can probably use this article if you're a non-major. For your paper even if you're a major it will help you understand the technology because it's written in a way to explain it to someone who doesn't have a lot of technical information right and if you like this article there's a bunch of things you can do with it you know you can save it you can print it you can get the citation go back to the results Another kind of popular um, article, like written for the general public, that you might want to look at is, let's say, a newspaper article. National Catholic Reporter has a lot of articles, New York Amsterdam News. And so if this looks interesting to you, you can click on it.
and you're seeing the newspaper article that's here. So you can get an idea of the depth of information and the type of reader that it's been written for. Now let's take a look at a trade publication. So a trade publication is written for somebody that works in an industry or profession um, that's interested in the topic. They have a little more information than the general reader, but not as much information as, say, a research scientist in the field, right? So um, here's an article written in um, Choices, the magazine of food, farm, and resource issues. For example, here's one that's written in Crops. So we can kind of pop one open. And you can get an idea of the kind of information that's contained in the trade publication. And this could be interesting um, for other reasons because you might want to get a better understanding like how, what do farmers know about this issue, that kind of thing. So now we're getting to scholarly journal articles, which is what the, you, those of you who are majors are going to want for sure. And to get to scholarly journal articles, there are a couple of ways that we're going to limit our results. So we've limited to full text. We're also going to limit to peer review. This means that any article that's been published has gone through a process where the report is sent to a group of experts in the field. They review the research and they determine whether or not it meets the standards of the field. Is it accurate? Does it follow a good scientific method? That sort of thing. Um, so you want to limit to that as well. And then when you scroll down, you can limit again to academic journals. You're trying to get to some research articles. Like I said before, there are two major kinds of scholarly journal articles. You've got primary research articles. You've got literature reviews. You also sometimes have um, conceptual pieces or philosophical pieces, which is what I would put this into right here. Um, but if we kind of go through here, what we're looking for are primary research articles. So we want an article that describes the research that was done by the author or authors. And you can also tell, you can often tell if it's a primary research article by reading the abstract. So you're looking for information such as who or what was the research done on, what was the method that was used, what were the results that were found. And so of these, this one looks most promising to me. So I'm going to click on the title. I've got the abstract right here, but even more telling, when I scroll down through the full text, the article, all of these articles will start off with a small literature review because they're trying to put their research within the context of all the other research that's been done. But as you keep going down, you're going to see materials and methods, right? And that's how you know that you found a primary research article because it's describing an experiment that happened. So I hope that the um, information that I've given you in the video helps you find the articles that you need. But if you get stuck, please go ahead and click this little link that says chat with the librarian and we'll help you make sure you get the research you need as quickly as possible.